Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today, I decided to do a collection video. Now, many years ago on this channel, I think it was two, maybe almost three years ago, I created a vinyl collection video. And that got quite a few views. So I thought I'd do an updated vinyl collection for you all today because a lot of the vinyl I had back then, I've kind of updated my taste level a little bit. So I want to do some clarifications before I start. Some of these records were gifts, um, either from my parents for like a birthday or Christmas or something. Um, some of these were from a subscription website called Vinyl. I was subscribed to them for a few months, um, but I canceled my subscription when I went back to school. Um, so some of these for that, and some of these I bought, you know, just because I wanted to. But um, we're going to be going in alphabetical order based on artist. And I do have these like plastic things on them, so... Yeah, I also bought, I'm not going to show it because it's super heavy, but I bought a new holder for my vinyl that I can actually put underneath the uh, counter that I put my record player on, which I actually have to replace that record player. Um, it's like two to three years old now. It's not the best quality, so I do have to buy a new one, but I need to find one that will fit on that stand. I can't really afford to buy a new one right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's the premise of this video. It's an updated vital question. As you can see, my skin's pretty bad right now. It's going for a breakout kind of deal right now. Don't know why. I don't know what caused it. Something caused it. I'm gonna find out what. But yeah. So we're gonna start with the 1975 A Brief Inquiry into Online Relationships. I don't know if this was in the original video. There are some of these that were in the original video. Most of them weren't. Um, but this is what I have an outfit quoted by artist. This is probably my favorite album by them. I got introduced by 1975 by Cameron. Um, I have seen them live once. Um, but this is probably my favorite album. Um, I don't think it, there are a couple songs on here I do skip. Um, which one is it? Um, Be My Mistake I kind of skip because it's kind of sad. Uh, The Man Who Married a Robot I skip. Um, I Couldn't Be More In Love Makes Me Cry, so I listen to that. Um, but this one looks like on the outside. I don't know why, but it looks like it has, like, teeth marks in it. I don't, I don't know what that is. That's, that's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, this is it. So it looks like on the inside. It's super cool. Like, such a cool design. Um, I genuinely do like this album. I love the artwork. Um, comes with this little pamphlet that has all the uh, lyrics on it which I love when artists do that when they include the lyrics because especially with someone like Maddie who has um, an accent you can't always understand what he's saying so I do appreciate that he has the um, the lyrics in there now I will say um, one thing that I sometimes don't like about records is especially when it's like a gatefold like this or like this is really hard to get back in because it's like a flimsy piece of paper. So I do, that is something I don't like. Also this is broken. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to go back in. Great. I've got to figure out why that's happening. I think it's because it's broken from what I can see. Here we go. Still not worth it. it. This is something I hate sometimes is how nothing fits. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure the record is just like a plain black color. Yeah. Um, it is quite dusty. It has been scratched a few times. I am going to get a new record player to stop that from happening hopefully um my brother actually bought these uh plastic covers and they're okay they just fall apart fall apart super easily especially if you have like large records like gatefold ones um but if you have just like single discs it's not gonna be as bad but when it's like gatefolds it's like so big and there's so much stuff and it's very satisfying when it goes in kind of slowly, but we're not gonna show that so next I have another 1975 album. This is uh, Notes on a Conditional Form. 
I'm gonna say the following things. This album disappointed me. I'm gonna tell you why. There's too many songs. I'm sorry, but there's too many songs. And I know, I don't know what vibe they were going for. I feel like they were rushing this album, like trying to get this era out. And they were like, we need to finish it. So let's put all the songs on here. And I do like that it's cardboard. Like they care about the environment, I guess. I don't know. That just came out of nowhere that they're like, oh, we care about the environment now. And I'm like, okay, I don't know where that started. But all of it's cardboard, which I find very interesting. And then the record is like this neon yellow. I actually ordered this online. Um, I had it pre-ordered uh, when I bought it. Um, and it's, it, there are some good songs on here. I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just saying there's too many songs. Like there's a lot of instrumentals that don't really make any sense. Um, they did do this thing that I actually kind of hated um, when they were, they released this like during the pandemic. So when they were putting on the music videos, they'd obviously filmed them before, but when they released the album, it was during the pandemic and they were like, we couldn't really film anything anymore. Like we couldn't film any music videos together. So what they did was they let fans create their own music videos. And I'm not saying that creativity is horrible, but I am saying some people should not have been allowed to make those music videos because they were terrible. I'm sorry, but not everyone is an artist. Like putting some pictures on clip art and then thinking, oh yeah, I'll make a PowerPoint presentation. That's not art. So um, that's just, my opinion and i don't draw i'm not an artist in that way but i have like seen art and i kind of know what art consists of i get that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and all that shit but i also know that some things are just absolute shit and we shouldn't let them exist that's just me um so yeah, next up in alphabetical order by ours, we have Ariana Grande. Cameron bought this for me for my birthday. I think it was my 21st birthday he bought this for me. It's the Thank You Next album. Um, I don't think I've listened to this album fully on vinyl. I've had it on CD. It's kind of dirty. Um, so that's kind of upsetting. Um, but the gatefold, it's like super cool. That's a picture from the Seven Rings photo shoot um or from the music video what i do like is the disc the actual record is clear i think that's super super cool um and then middle is like this pink i do find that really nice i like how clean and everything it is um i will say that um i may treat my records terribly like i feel like some people would be like oh you can't touch them with your hands and i'm like then how the fuck am i supposed to like use them or some people will be like, why aren't you wearing gloves? And I'm like, because it's not a fucking record from 1960 that you can't find anywhere else. It's literally by Ariana Grande and you can buy it at Target, you know? But I will say that my record player is not the best. It's a Crosby record player and I definitely will be replacing it as soon as I can afford to. Um, oh God, I heard the plastic again. This plastic is like, I think it's because it's a gatefold, like these records are so huge and that's something I don't like is when they have to split the record into like two discs. Like if it's a lot of songs I understand, but there's albums where it's only like 12 songs and one disc and it works. You know, you just have an A side and a B side and that would work perfectly fine, but people want to sell stuff and it's more expensive if you make it a gatefold and all of that. So that's my Ariana Grande. Next, we have a couple of single discs. Um, so this is Best Coast, this is the album, The Only Place. Um, I got this from the vinyl website. I did listen to it. It's kind of indie sounding, um, kind of different. I don't really remember a lot about this album. It is a single record and the record's just a black disc with like a blue. Um, so Best Coast is a duo. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 songs on this album. Most of them are under four minutes. Um, like, it's it's an indie kind of band sounding duo. It's uh, Bethany Cosinto and Bob Bruno. Um, they also have John Bryan helps out with some stuff. Um, 
But yeah, it's it's kind of indie sounding. Um, I don't really remember much about this record, but I did like it, so I did keep it. But the thing with the vinyl records is I don't think you can send them back. Like, from the website, I don't think you can send them back, so... I was kind of stuck with it, but I did end up liking this, so yeah. Next up, we have Black Bra Modern Feminist. This is mostly rock. Um, not a genre I usually listen to, but I think the artwork is gorgeous. Beautiful artwork. Um, super interesting. Um, the record is like this bright neon orange color. I love that. Um, this is what that looks like that's held in. Um, I just think this is super cool. I listened to this and I was like, holy shit, like this is genuinely like super, super cool. Um, my brother is a lot more like the music person. I'm not really a music person. Like I'm not, I don't critique music. I'm not one of those people. I'm very much like, if I like it, I listen to it kind of thing. So next we have probably the gayest album that has ever existed. Share. And it's a queen. Ho! Oh, sorry. Share. Um, this is the Dancing Queen album, which is Share singing ABBA songs. I, I don't know. How I was supposed to cope with this. This came out after Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. And the fact that Cher decided, I'm gonna get the guys what they want. That's not what Cher sounds like. Um, oh, snap out of it. I'm gonna give those homosexuals what they want. That's not how Cher sounds. Um, but I think this is gorgeous. I think the artwork is really beautiful. Um, she looks beautiful in all these pictures. She just, I love the blonde wig. It's just, she's... She's perfect. I love Cher. I love Cher. I can't get this back in. Ugh, I hate these. I, one thing I do hate is the size of record holders is they're never big enough to hold everything that's in them. Like, they're always like... Like, something has to happen to them and it's like weird and you can't get anything back inside if you take something out. It's like, you're not meant to take anything out. And I'm like, then how are you supposed to listen to it? You know, kind of deal. Like, I see people putting records up, like, on their walls. And I'm like, how is that practical? And I don't understand what it all means, but people make their own decisions. But one thing I also love about this disc is it's this electric royal blue color. It's just such a cool aesthetic. And it's Cher singing ABBA. Like, I don't, I don't know what we did to deserve this, but I'm glad we did whatever we did. Like, they put her in Mamma Mia and said, would you like to make an entire album of ABBA? And she goes, yes. And it's only 10 tracks. Um, it's the most famous ABBA songs you can think of. Like, Dancing Queen, Mamma Mia, Chiquitita. Um, but it's, it's still good. It's, it's Cher, bitch, it's Cher. So there's that one. Next, I also got from the vinyl website. So the share one was a gift. I'm pretty sure my dad bought that for me for Christmas. But this was from the vinyl website. This is T Demi Lovato, Tell Me You Love Me. Now, I don't know a lot about Demi Lovato's uh, music. I listened to them when Disney Channel was around, when they were in like cap Camp Rock and all that stuff. Um, so I don't know a lot about Demi Lovato as a person, I don't really listen to their music, but I can say that they do have a good voice. Okay, you can't, you can't really say that they sound terrible, like their singing voice is good. I will say lyrically, gone a little bit off the rails. This is them on the inside, gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I don't really know enough about Demi Lovato to kind of critique everything like it's just a simple black record there are some good songs on here i will say that there are some good songs on here um i wouldn't say this album's terrible i wouldn't say it's the best album ever but there are some good songs on here i will say that um but yeah i got this from the vinyl website and it's fine it's not the worst record like it starts with sorry not sorry and then tell me you love me and those are like the most famous songs 
from it and that's kind of it like i hadn't heard any of the other songs it's 12 tracks it's not really it's a gateful but there's only one disc so that's kind of a weird concept to me um but still it's it's okay it's not the worst album i've ever listened to so next we have this was another one from the vinyl website this is lt everything is fine i don't think i've ever actually listened to this all the way through like i don't think i have the vibe it's giving me is indie. I definitely will say that. It's giving me an indie kind of vibe. Um, and I feel like it looks like kind of depressing. Um, it's not gatefold. It's just a single record. I will say this picture is so cool. Um, the record is this crushed raspberry red color, which I think is gorgeous. I do have to listen to this all the way through to get an opinion on it. I really don't remember much about it. I know I listened to it when I got it, but I really don't remember the vibe. Um, it feels like it's probably very indie, very like, not sad, but like maybe a little bit sad. You know, it's like a little bit of a sad vibe. Oh, okay. It's trying to get them back into plastic. That's the thing I hate. And I want to put them in plastic so, like, they'll stay in good quality, but I feel like it doesn't work. Like, this plastic's ruined. It has, like, it's all sticky on it. I don't know what happens to that. But it goes there. Then I have... I don't know why this isn't in plastic, but this is Fleetwood Mac Rumors. I bought this myself. This is not an original, obviously. Um, can't get that anymore. Um, I will say, this is one of the greatest albums of all time, and you know how there's that TikTok channel, I can't remember, it's Lumberg or Lumberland or something like that, and they made this one TikTok was like, what's the greatest album of all time? And nearly all of them said some random rap album. And I'm like, where is the taste level? Like, and only one person said Flea with Mac Rumors, and I was like, you're the only person I respect here. Because, like, I feel like it's it's less common for, like, listening to classic music is very much, like, people have an idea of what classic means, and people think classic is just 80s, but they don't go as far back as 70s. And I feel like people are going to be like, oh, well, so I listened to that, it's mostly just white people. And it's like, no, it's not just white people, but okay. And I think the thing about 70s music is it depends on where you live, obviously. Like, if you grew up in, you know, the rural South, most of your music was like gospel, Christian, or country, you know? And then you go up to like Northern states and you heard a little bit more diverse kind of ranges of voices. And then you go into the Midwest and it's kind of just like Western country, also very Christian music. And then you get to California and it's more like beach vibes and, you know, it's, it's, it, it changes, you know. And then you go to other countries and you look at a country like England and my dad mainly listened to the Beatles. But he also listened to, you know, Rolling Stones and also Fleetwood Mac and, you know all of those bands and i feel like there's this you know there's this thing with you know not many people want to listen to older music because they're like oh it's gonna say something racist i'm like well not always like fleetwood mac isn't racist um but i feel like people immediately think like oh if you listen to that kind of music you don't listen to anything from this time and it's like no nah, i listen to lady gaga and like all of that shit but i also listen to this like you know and i also think that's a very queer thing i feel like with with queer culture it's a lot of it depends on age when it comes to you know queer culture is if you have an older queer person they listen to more older queer music and then when you have someone that's young and queer, they call Lady Gaga old. And I'm like, okay, we get it. You listen to Nicki Minaj and think like, you know everything about culture. Or you listen to like one lesbian singer and that's your entire personality. And it's very much like, not many people are gonna listen to this kind of music unless they live back then or they hold on to that or I don't 
don't want to say queer people listen to Fleetwood Mac, but they do. You get a lot of women, okay? It's a lot of women listen more to Fleetwood Mac because Stevie Nicks is like a feminist icon and all this stuff. So you get a lot of more women that listen to Fleetwood Mac because of Stevie, but then you get men listening to Fleetwood Mac because you got, you know, Mick Fleetwood, like, you got amazing drums and then you got Lindsey Buckingham and then you got these songs that like a lot of people can relate to and I feel like there's this weird <laughs> my favorite thing about Fleetwood Mac this this thing from Reddit came out and it was talking about Stevie Nicks many years ago she had an abortion and she was like if I kept the baby and all of that Fleetwood Mac never would have stayed around because I wouldn't have been able to tour. I wouldn't have been able to do things I wanted to do because I would have had a child. And some people might say, and then there's all these pro-lifers that are like, oh yeah, because a band is more important than a baby. And it's like, have you listened to Fleetwood Mac though? <laughs> it's like, it's like, yes, a fetus had to die for the greatest band of all time to exist. So it's kind of like, which 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 one do you pick? You know, you, 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 lesser of two evils. It's 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 very much like, like, do you get the greatest music of all time or do you get some random baby that no one really cares about, you know? And there's some people that are like, I'm not gonna get into like abortion and all that, but what that's what I'm saying about Fleetwood Mac is there's a lot of people that don't want to listen to it because it's like, oh, it's old and it's like classics and I don't listen to any classic music. And it's like, okay, we get it. You don't have, like, you don't want to listen to classic music because like it's old, it's before your time and all of this stuff. And it's like, just because it's before your time doesn't mean it's bad, you know? And like, I, my dad had me growing up listening to, you know, uh, Beatles, Fleetwood Mac, all of that stuff, you know, that's what I grew up listening to. And, you know, there's, like, there's an episode of Glee where they talk about the Fleetwood Mac Rumors album and they do songs from that album and it's something that, like, I, I, there's some teenagers that listen to that music and want to cling on to the past and that's why they listen to it. And other young people, they're like, oh, that time's gone. You know, there's horrible things associated with that time. And like, yes, racism existed, but racism still exists. Like it's always existed. You know, homophobia is always gonna exist. There's, there's these topics that you can't really escape. And listening to music from that time doesn't make you a horrible person. You know, it's just, there's, it's, it's a confusing subject. I don't know. But then after the Fleetwood Mac Rumors album, I then have their Greatest Hits album, which has Rhiannon. It has a lot of the songs from uh, Rumors, but it has some other ones. It has Rhiannon, it's Hold Me, Everywhere, Gypsy, um, Little Lies, you know, it's, it's, you know, the Greatest Hits album. And it's something worth listening to, you know, you know, you know, so yeah, yeah, you get you get some good songs on here. There's a lot of songs from Rumors on here, but that's not a bad thing, no. Next I have my brother bought this for me. Harry Styles, Fine Line. This man does too much. <laughs> I have all of his albums on CD. I have one of his albums on vinyl. Now, y'all know that this album comes with a poster, but I'm not going to show that poster because I don't want to get demonetized. This is the art on the inside. I don't know what the vibe was, but something was going on that day. I don't, I don't know. Um, this, this album is huge. Like, this gatefold is huge. And it's, you know, just simple black record. Nothing too exciting. But, um, you get all the lyrics to all the songs on there. And it's, it's a big album. I will say, if you buy this, be ready for it to be heavy. But, yeah, I'm gonna put the poster back in here. Because I don't really have any room to put up a poster on my wall right now so we're gonna save this poster for the future um and then we'll put it up on a wall um when i have my own house okay this is an album i don't think i actually listened to this is karima walker waking the dreaming body um this is eight tracks um i got this from um 
the vinyl website. But I don't think I ever actually listened to it. I think this was the last record I got from them. Um, but it's very simple looking. And it's like this purple color, which I love. I think that's gorgeous. I love when they do records as like different colors rather than just a traditional black. Um, but I do have to listen to this to get a full opinion because I really don't remember what the vibe is. It looks like it's kind of a sad, depressing vibe. Um, but you know, I'm gonna find out. I think this was the last record they sent me. So, because what they do is on that vinyl website, if anyone's interested in signing up, um, I don't, I don't have, um, I, I don't really know what the vibe is of that album. I'd have to listen to it all the way to understand it because I, that was like the last record they sent me. So the vinyl subscription, how it works is what I was set up for is I get one record every month for $14.99. Um, I could do like, I could choose a certain vibe or I could do like curated. So they choose one for me and I would always do created cause I was like, I'll just let them choose something. Um, I got some good records, got some ones I was not interested in listening to. Um, but yeah, they, 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 it was pretty good. They usually just send you single discs, um, like single records, usually artists you may not have heard of, kind of indie, but I did get that Dem Demi Lovato record from there, so I don't know. Um, so next I have, I'm gonna have five albums from the same artist, so um, get ready. This is Lady Gaga, The Fame. I'm pretty sure my mom bought this for me for Christmas. Um, I had never listened to all of the songs on this album before, and I know that sounds horrible, but let me explain. Um, I've been a Lady Gaga stan for years, but of course there are some Lady Gaga songs I could not listen to when I was child. Um, so I had heard like Just Dance, Love Game, Paparazzi, Poker Face. I'd actually heard nothing else I can say. Beautiful, Dirty Rich, The Fame. But Side C and Side D, Money, Honey, Star Trek, Boys, 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 Paper Gangster, Brown Eyes, I Like It, Rough and Silver Boy. Never listened to those songs before in my life. So I was very much like, where did all of these come from? Now on the inside, it's a gatefold. You get all the lyrics right here she looks gorgeous doing her thing like i love this era of gaga i want her to go back to it and then the actual record itself is fairly simple it's just like a black disc very very simple when it comes to the design of the actual records with the inside of the gatefold is very much like pow in your face um but yeah i do i do really I'd have to listen to this again to remember all the songs, but you know, Lady Gaga is my idol. She's an icon. I love everything she does. I, I have like the only record I don't have of hers other than Tony Bennett ones is Art Pop and I need it because Art Pop is probably my favorite album because Art Pop is the first CD I ever bought with my own money. That is not a joke. I genuinely, when I moved to America, I went to a Best Buy, I found our pop by Lady Gaga and I bought it because I was a stan. I've loved everything Lady Gaga has ever done. I paid attention. I watched every single music video. I tried to memorize all the lyrics to all the Poor Nest Boy songs. I was genuinely obsessed. Like everything about her is amazing and incredible and I love everything she does. So next I have, this was actually the first vinyl I ever bought was actually Lady Gaga Bad from The Fame Monster. Um, I don't know why I tried to call it Bad Romance. I don't know. But The Fame Monster is kind of more like an EP. There's some songs missing or not some songs missing, but there's not a lot of songs on here. But I will say this record has genuinely been damaged many a time. Very scratched up, very dirty. It's, um, the song's so happy I could die. You can't listen to it on this. There is just some records that don't sound good on vinyl. But I will say once I buy a new record player, I'd, I'm gonna make sure I can play this. But I love the art. I love how she looks on this. I love like the difference between sides. Like this is badass woman and this is a woman who's been through trauma. Um, 
So yeah, I, I will say I do love this album. Next, I recently got this album for Christmas from my brother. This is the Lady Gaga Born This Way. This is actually the deluxe version, which includes the songs Black Jesus and Amen Fashion, Fashion of His Love, uh, The Queen. So yeah, it's, um, oh, and uh, no, Bloody Mary's on the original. There it is. I listen to this album every single day. I listen to the CD every single day. I don't listen to this one. Um... Because I'm fairly sure this was used before I got it. Um, my brother brought this from a website. Um, I will say packaging was very good. It came completely packaged, but I will say I think this has been used. You can see in the center here, there's like some scratches on there. So I do think this has been used and has been scratched. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't love it any less. Um, my brother got this for me for Christmas and I do appreciate it, so. Yeah, I do. I That's my favorite album of all time. Okay. Said it. Next I have Lady Gaga, Joanne. Now the Joanne era was a confusing era for me. I did not know what was going on, but I did love everything that came out about it. Um, probably my favorite song from this record is Angel Down. I cry when I listen to it many, many times. I gotta check if this is stuck to it because it doesn't want to come out, but it could mean that this record is just super, super big. Woo! Okay, Indie Gaga, Joanne. I will say art-wise, beautiful. Like, look at her. Ah! Um, I do think the artwork of this is beautiful. Like, all of these pictures and all the lyrics and all the writing. And it's just... It's... The record is just a plain black disc. It has some interesting stuff in the middle. But this is this is an amazing record. Like I I just I love Lady Gaga. She's she's my favorite person. If I meet her, I will cry. If I ever met Lady Gaga, I would be I would cry for like two whole days just from like shock. And being like, oh my god, you're a real person. I thought you were fake. Like Every interview I see of her, I'm like, I just want to be your friend. Like, I just want to be your friend. And I'm sorry I don't smoke weed, but like, I, I, I don't know what you like. Um, and like, I, I just, I think her makeup line is amazing. I haven't bought anything from the relaunch yet, um, but I do have some of her original stuff from House Labs. I have two of the liquid eyeshadows. I have um the one of the lip glosses and one of the uh blush and highlighter duos um but i do love that they did a relaunch um i don't know if it's i know it's a rebrand kind of thing um and it's at sephora now which i find very interesting and i'm very happy that they were able to do that my last lady gaga record is chromatica okay i love lady gaga Chromatica is probably, I like a lot of the songs on Chromatica. It's probably, <laughs> one thing I love is I saw this TikTok recently and Lady Gaga had tweeted something, I can't remember what it was. And it's, um, she made that song for Top Gun Maverick. And she's in this music video and one of the lyrics, I can't remember what the girl said, but it's like, She's making music for the straights now, and that's not okay. She's making music for the straights, and I'm like, you're right, and we need to stop her. Um, because I don't think we streamed Chromatica enough. I don't think we did enough. Um, but Chromatica, I think it's a good album. It's very different from the albums she's made in the past. I will say that. There's a lot more features on this. I love Side and From Above with Elton John. Love that. The Blackpink song is okay Raid on me i think i kind of overplayed um 911 awesome replay is one of my favorite songs i love babylon uh stupid love is a great song um so yeah enigma is good enigma is a good song um i want to see her residency in vegas so bad but yeah chromatica this is also one of the first albums I ever bought. This is Lana Del Rey, Lust for Life. I will say this album's good. 
Um, I have her album Norman uh, Effing Rockwell. I have that on CD and I do love that album as well. No skips on that album. Just gonna tell you that now. Lust for Life is okay. There's a lot of features on here. I will say my favorite one is Beautiful People, Beautiful Problems uh, featuring Stevie Nicks because it's Stevie fucking Nicks. Um, I'm trying to think of, I do love Groupie Love. Um, Lust for Life is a good song. Um, Tomorrow Never Came is a good song. Um, I do like God Bless America and all the beautiful women in it. Summer Bummer is okay. It could be better. In My Feelings is a good song. Um, but I will say my favorite is probably Beautiful People, Beautiful Problems. I will say that's probably my favorite song on the whole album. But she's gorgeous on this album, I think. It's just beautiful art. And this was in the original video that I made. Um, I do remember this being in the original video. So if I remember correctly, the record is just like a basic black record. Yeah. Um, but the artwork's really good. And I just, I, I think she's a good artist. And I know some people don't like her. Um, but yeah. So this is one of the first albums. This is the first album my eyes I ever got from the vinyl subscription. This is Sasha Sloan, um, Sad Girl. I listened to this and was like, holy shit, this is good. Um, I mean, look at that art. That's just a crazy album cover. Um, but yeah, I think this is her first EP. So the record is this hot pink color. First of all, what? Um, I think she produces and like writes all these songs with like her fiance or something. I don't know their relationship. But this album is really good. I think it's really interesting. Um, I was very happy when Vinyl sent this to me. I was like, okay, this is this is a good investment. You know, this is a good investment to be getting vinyls every month. You know, and like for $14.99, like records are so expensive now that $14.99 is a pretty good price. Like $14.99 is definitely a good price to be getting vinyl records. Um, because I will say with like going to Barnes and Noble buying records, it is expensive. So I will say that that vinyl website did help. So this is a band called Smokey Brights. This is a uh, album called I Love You But Damn. This gives kind of like country vibes, but like girl boss country vibes, you know. Um, it's a gatefold. Um, as you can see, this is the band. She is gorgeous in every single way. Um, it is a band. Um, you have uh, Ryan Devlin, Kim West, uh, Nick Krivchidian, and Luke Logan. Um, so this is the record. Um, it's like this gold color. What? That's such a weird color to me. Um, but the record's called I Love You But Damn. It kind of gives like country vibes, but in a like... I don't know how to explain, like country girl boss vibes, you know, very Trixie Mattel. I do need to buy some Trixie Mattel records. I don't know if they sell them in stores. <laughs> I'd, I would listen to it. I'd probably cry. <laughs> I will say her cover of video games has like changed my life in every single way. So Trixie, you made a difference for me, girl. Next I have Taylor Swift Folklore. Now I was not a Taylor Swift stan back in the day. I was very much one of those people that was not like other girls. I was listening to Lady Gaga and Katy Perry and Kesha. Other girls were listening to Taylor Swift and One Direction. So that's one thing. I never listened to Taylor Swift. I knew who she was. I knew some of her songs. I knew like Love Story and like all of her famous songs, you know? But Folklore came out and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And I was like, she cursed, you know? It's like, it's, it, the artwork just, ugh. And I love this black and white art and all of that. And it's just, it's so, it's, and, and this green, this beautiful green on the side. And the record is like, ugh, ugh, ugh. The light shine for it, it looks like trees, ugh. Just, uh, it is a beautiful album. I will say that it is, it is a 
gorgeous album and I love that she's able to make music for herself. I love that she's re-releasing stuff. I know some people don't like it, but I do. Um, that's what my boyfriend was saying was like, I'm happy, but I'm also not. Cause my boyfriend wasn't really ever a Taylor Swift stan, but he wanted to be like, I was a Taylor Swift stan before you. And I'm like, no, you weren't. But um, his friend Ashley, I think, I don't know if she's a Taylor Swift stan, but I think she might be. Um, so he knew a lot of Taylor Swift songs because of her. Next, this was in the original video, so I'm probably not gonna talk about it much. This is the soundtrack to Twin Peaks The Return. So this is the soundtrack. Um, I wanted this because there are some really good songs on here, like genuinely good songs. So I, I, I did, I did get this. This is the soundtrack. I don't have any other soundtrack stuff. This is the only soundtrack I have. Um, I don't really have any other compilation kind of albums. So this is the only soundtrack I have. And then the last final I have is, um, I can't tell what the band name is or what the album's called. Cause it says Anna Ohio, Vita and the Wolf. And I feel like the band is called Vita and the Wolf. And the, the, the record is called Anna Ohio. I can't tell. Um, special thanks to my roommates. All songs written by Jennifer Pegg, produced and engineered. Vocals, produced, master. Well, there's like this, which I think is her name, but I can't tell, but it's this gorgeous pink color. So 2020, Vita and the Wolf under license to Tender Loving Empire. I think, I think the band is called Vita and the Wolf and the album is called Anna Ohio, which I don't understand, but hey, if that's if that's what it is i kind of remember this it's kind of pop but sad you know sad pop um but it's cute i do i do like this album and i love the pink vibes you know if it's pink i buy it that's that's very much me there's certain things where i'm like i'm gonna buy it if it's this you know if it's fenty beauty i buy it if it's pink i buy it <laughs> if it's a candle i'm more than likely buying it i just bought like three candles from walmart the other day i need to be stopped my candle collection is kind of small right now, but it's gonna get bigger. I, mm. when, when my partner and I get our first place together, I, I don't know. We're gonna need a big place because I have a lot of stuff. Oh God, I'm gonna have to throw away so many things. Wow, that is, that is tragic. Oh. Um. So that was my updated vinyl collection. I was very excited to show you guys this. Um, for many reasons. Um, you know, it's vinyl. It's cute. It's different. You know? And I've been wanting to do an updated vinyl collection for a while. And I'm really excited that I did an updated one. I hope you guys like it. Yes, this video is quite long. I'm going to try and edit it to make it smaller. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more update collections or new collection videos. Tell me what y'all want to see next. Do you want me to do an update book collection? Um, I already did update with stuffed animals. I could do, um, I don't think I could do an eyeshadow palette collection, but I could try something. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, Comment what videos you want to see next. Do you want to see more makeup videos? Do you want to see more collection videos? Do you want me to do reviews again? I haven't done a review in quite a while. So if you want me to do a review, I'll definitely do that. Um, hit the notification bell for a new video whenever this video gets to double digit views. I want to thank you guys for watching the orange makeup look. That was the video I posted right before uploading this one. Um, Follow the social media links in the description below. I have Instagram, I have TikTok, I have Tumblr, I have my fandom Tumblr, I have my other Tumblr, I have my Twitter. Um, over here is going to be the collections playlist and over here is going to be the original vinyl collection. So you can watch the original vinyl collection, figure out what vinyls were in that one and how my taste has changed over the years okay thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye and also those links will be in the description below and you can subscribe right here